We actually have to replay uh, the Team Slayer. They decided to use V3 Throwdown, which is not yeah. the same as AGL Throwdown. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, what's the big difference, Scott? And the big difference here is, is that the Railgun is bottom mo Mohawk instead of top Mohawk. And that's going to change the whole dynamic of the game. Yeah, definitely. Um, so this, this could be a complete change in oh, yeah. who's winning this. But we're going to go back on board with, it uh, looks like, Boo Boo Doo Boo here. And again, the score is neck and neck, 6 to 5. Yeah, but the big thing now, which is a big hindrance uh, for Team Crowd Pleasers, is that they came out hot. Yeah. And now they have to replay this, and Boo Boo Doo and the rest of the squad can take a second and say, you know what? We got to stop it up. We, we, gotta, yeah. we saw how they played this. We can slow this down, and we're going to be okay. Yeah. And that that is night and day different. That's huge. I mean, uh, playing the same, almost the same gameplay back to back, it can really, it could swing completely the other way. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. Ah, Boo Boo Doo coming off the respawn here. He is on blue street. He is working with his team. Suspector's kind of called over by himself on red base, but they are not able to clean him down. And he is actually going to stay alive, and now he's finally going to be taken down. That's going to be two kills in favor of crowd pleasers. And now good shots by Boo Boo. He's doing an excellent job, and I, yeah. I feel so weird saying Boo Boo. It is really awkward, but uh, that's kind of the point. I think, I, I think. You think he, he made his gamer tag just so... Yeah, I, I think so. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know his story behind the Boo Boo Doo Boo tag, but uh, he, he he had a hard time speaking, and so <laughs> Boo Boo Doo Boo was like, "Oh well, I can say that." Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Boo Boo spawn coming off the respawn here is going to be pushing red straight. They are getting flanked from Carlos and Lifestyle. They are doing exactly what they did yeah. last game, which was just search and destroy, trap them on the street, and come from all angles possible. And the good thing about that is, is if you're not paying attention to it, yeah. the big thing is, is you can get an easy nade on the street, oh, yeah. and you are just an instantly cleaned up. And now we see his lifestyle is going to grab the sniper, and you guys were unfortunate yeah. enough to not watch his sniper last game, but he was putting on a show. He really was. And uh, we've we seen some solid pushes out of lifestyle, some solid snipes, and here you see him trying to get an angle from the bottom mid. Um, Kind of questionable, but regardless, he's going to be able to get out of there and stay alive with it. So this, this is where the action begins. Moving up to top, ready a shooter in his back pocket. He has Showtime in front of him. He spots a guy, Tom Mill. He's going to be throwing some nades. Shoot, Showtime needs help, and none of his teammates are coming to help him yet. And now finally, there's a little bit of urgency, but now they're going to get cleaned up, and he's going to get a body shot. There is the assist, and will he get it? Nope. He's got to get out of dodge. And although you can't get knocked out of zoom, you have to be very, very conscious yeah. of your shields because you can die very quick on land. It's, I mean, the fact that you're not getting knocked out, it's very easy to lose track of your shields because you're just like, oh, whatever, I'm still zoomed in. 24 to 20 here in favor of crowd players. They're still doing an excellent job. Oh, and he lined it up. He had all day, but he was able to miss the shot. And now he still is shooting the guy's top middle. There's a guy pushing him right straight, and he is going to be cleaned up. There is no way. Boo Boo and the rest of the squad are shoving top middle. Boo Boo is in a fight, and he is not going to be able to clean up that kill. He's going to be taken down. And now we see as Lifestyle hitting the left up. He just got hologrammed a little bit there. Took a point for him. Did you see that? Yeah, that's crazy. Plus, that's another factor. What do you what do you think about the ordinances in this? Uh, I, 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 I'm indecisive. I think yeah, when it comes down to dispatch, like you really have to use that shield. Like you have to. But maps like this where the railgun's used but not as bad, you don't need to grab that thruster pack. Yeah. But when there's a map where you're getting the railgun all the time, like you grab that thruster pack and you dodge it every single time. I think I've been seeing a lot of uh, you know individual players picking like I like the thruster pack, I'm going to go with that, or I like the shield and I'm going to learn how to use that. So it's going to really like flow into people's playstyle. For sure. But we're on board with Lifestyle right now, who's kind of just waiting for his team to get set up so he can make this push. And uh, checking his back, going to be able to go walk right past the needler. But uh, here, here comes maybe a flank. Lifestyle actually waiting for his teammate Shooter. Shooter is caught bottom open, and he's really just being a thorn in the side. And now look at that teamwork there. Lifestyle shoving. He is going straight bottom middle. He's like a shark in water. And now Sus Suspect is going to be able to clean up a kill with a backpack. Lifestyle one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to clean that up. Impressive shots here from Lifestyle. No, he, he rarely misses. He's a solid player online, and I think we're seeing that on land. Um, you're going to see two players on the red team going to be going up red ramp right now. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if they caught that. Yeah, they were not expecting that nade. Lifestyle throwing another nade here and hit the guy bottom red square. Throws her pack in and he's going to have his teammate there. This is just going to be slaughter. Not the best decision here, but now, we'll, now we see it's 35. Oh, it's 35-36 now in favor of Boo team. And this is where actually crowd pleasers actually came back and, and won by 14 kills last game. But now we're seeing it's a little bit closer. And it isn't so much the fact that, the, you know, the railguns 
bop top middle or bottom middle. It's the fact that now Boo Boo's got that out of his system and he just got a humongous, humongous kill bottom open. Boo Boo now coming off the respawn. He's pushing Red Street. His teammates are all with him. And this looks really good for them. You have Rage who's going to be rounding around back. And now there's three guys top close. Boo Boo is one of them. He spots two guys top middle. He's trying to stay alive here. And now he down he goes. And this is going to go neck and neck for the rest of the game. For sure. Three members of Red Team. All four down there. And uh, going back on board with Boo Boo Doo. He's going to be coming off the respawn. Really wanting to kill, like, kill top mid. But he needs to be careful of that street as well. 42 to 40 in not in favor of crowd players, which is very surprising after last game. And now Boo Boo's gonna get another kill. They are still up by two kills. Suspect is spawning bottom red, and now he's got a guy bottom red. There's a guy trapped bottom middle, and now there you go. Boo Boo's gonna get that up. He is on a killing spree. They are up by two. They are just five kills away from winning this. Up comes the railgun. They are unable to convert on that kill. And now here we go. Boo Boo's shoving on the street. We do have Rage spawning top red. Suspector uh, throwing the nade at his teammate for some reason. There's a guy bottom middle. And they are not able to get it. But oh, look at this. We have a four man push from top open. I am not sure. Uh, crowd pleasers may get away with this. There's four guys top middle, and no one's really looking at them. Finally, Shooter's going to get shot. And now, notice how Boo Boo's trying to slow this game down. They're just three kills away from winning this, but he's going to get cleaned up. That's going to be 48 to 44. 48 to 44 still, and we're staying on board with Boo Boo because he is making plays. Next kill wins, 49 to 45. He goes top middle, he's gonna get caught, he's gonna get hit by a grenade, he does not die. He's bottom middle, and he is gonna be able to get it, and there goes the victory. I was unable to see because Tragic got the last kill, and we don't have his POV. That's, that's incredible. <clears throat> Such a close game all the way through, and uh, they really came out with the win. That goes back to that mental game we were talking about. Oh, yeah. So having to replay the game again. Do you think that really affected this year? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. you got to think, it, it's your first tournament time, and you come in a little bit flat, and then you're able to get a get-out-of-jail-free card. You can't beat that. Oh, yeah. Taking a look at the stats here, we do see that Tragic going 17-13 and 13 here. He had a very good showing. But look at Boo Boo and Suspector. Suspector. I don't really like that name. Uh, they, had 11, they combined with 22 assists. Yeah. Very impressive. And the allergies in Nashville are just as bad as back in Virginia. I'm awful right it's, now. It's so much better for me. I can't bring oh. home, and here, here I am, alive. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah, that, that's night and day different. Uh, they got to get out of jail free card completely. Yeah. Uh, it sucks, but you know what? You it's on the ref. Yeah. It is on the tournament. It is, it is on the players as well, you know? And, and they share that. Yeah. They share that it, problem. It definitely, when you get a situation like that, you, and you're both teams, you got to look at it and be like, all right, well, it's the same. we got to just do the same yeah. thing, keep the same mental game, and, Absolutely. and just keep it going. All right, well, we are going to go to a quick commercial break. When we come back, we will have game number two coming up for you. Maven. Clint. Yeah? I got the least heterosexual tie possible. Oh, that's very good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, are we live, Brad? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to the man who you know his voice if you watch my stream. Don't you put that on me. Uh, you know his voice if you watch my stream. He's a, he's a yeller. He's an entertainer. Give it up for Maven. Hey, guys. <laughs> Maven, uh, I don't. I know we've always played these guys, but Boo Boo just got to get out of jail free card. I don't know if you're watching that game. No, so they were able to lose. They lost game one because they were using P3 settings, and then they were able to come back in with the Team Slayer with AGL settings, and they were able to win. How do you feel about that? Well, that's impressive. I mean, all we we've only been playing them in Throwdown for the most part. Yeah. I know we haven't run too much of the uh, too much of the AGL settings, but we play Boo Boo quite a quite a bit. So they went to switch mid-game? Yeah, the, no, 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 no. They actually lost that game, and now uh, they had to replay the entire game. And so this is the second game on Haven Extraction. Now, uh, Haven Extraction is a game that it got taken out of V3 Throwdown uh, for reasons for King of the Hill, obviously, because it's a similar game type. But this is kind of the staple for the competitive community, you know? It was one of our, it was one of our favorites. Oh, by far. I mean, I like, I like King, too, but... Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, easily, easily one of my favorites. I like it a lot more than uh, Distract Distraction, that's for sure. Yeah. Then, Bill, that's just because you can't do anything with the sniper at all. Right? Like, if you get to... The other team gets two snipers, it's rest in pieces yes, on yes. Dispatch. There's yeah. nothing you can do about that. Anybody like us and can't snipe, it's, uh, it's going to strike. <laughs> it's even worse. <laughs> Uh, we got show, your boy Showtime here, it looks like. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Showtime on this. Uh, so a lot of people don't really know this, but uh, I have a vendetta for Showtime. Oh, they're the BFF. 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 Uh, but so let's talk a little bit about Extraction Haven here. Um, I believe we already did see the first one go in favor of crowd pleasers here. And now, this is a 45 second uh, engage time. I know, I know. It's and that, that's, that's, a, faster. that's much quicker. Well, the arm's much quicker too, I know. Uh, yeah. At least the, uh, the original goes much. I know the first time we played those settings, I was very, very surprised. Yeah, but you know, the big thing here is when with this bottom B hill, you really have to spread out, but you kind of, I kind of like holding the street. You know, we see success when we hold the street, yeah, yeah. and we just kind of drop down on, on the attraction. Exactly. Ooh, Showtime's going to be cleaned up here now. Uh, Suspector's staying alive here. Rage is dead as well. We do not know if Tragic's alive or not. But Boo Boo's going to be coming off the respawn, and we're jumping on board with Shooter. Shooter is sitting top middle, and they're just kind of, it looks like they're giving up on B entirely, and just waiting on C. And I think I think that's the right play, Maven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, he's got cleaned up top middle. It looks like cleaned up top middle here, and now he's that is going to be all he's four dead. Yeah, he's getting an arm. I look at a snipe on open ramp too. So they can hold that down. That's a tough spot to snipe from, though. No, that is so hard. It's yeah. such a guaranteed nade, and with the nade indicator, you don't have to guess. Uh, uh, you know, if you hit them or not, yeah, you're just yeah. like, oh, well, I hit him with a nade. I'm flying. Exactly. Daddy's coming in hot. Well, I know that's a, that's a mistake a lot of people make here. He's flying in, though. Oh, yeah. He's got to stay up top. Be annoying. Lifestyle now able to get a double kill here. That's going to be all four members dead for Boo Boo's team. And look how fast that disarm is. Yeah, that's ridiculous. My God. That's ridiculous. Seems like it's practically twice as fast as V3. And, yeah, I, I talked to Ghost, seeing if that was going to be something he changed. But it looks like he wants to stick with uh, stick with the standard setting. Yeah, and, and the big thing about that was is I, I, I had the exact same conversation. He said, you know, the reason we want to keep it long is because, you know, it, you should be rewarded for getting B, right? Yeah. So when you get B and they just set up for C, they get let it go at 10 seconds, you should have a chance of going over there yeah. and getting it because you're dominating, yeah. right? You know, it, it's just kind of rewarding for the team. Well, Lifestyle not able to clean up that kill here. That is the definition of a Halo 4 grenade. Sometimes it kills, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, right. Putting in shots, and there's a guy bottom open. He has a one shot. He calls it out to his team. They are alive. just staying alive. Boo Boo doing an excellent job, Maven. I really hope He's you're taking so notes. Oh, it's so alive. Oh, God. That's the most frustrating yeah. thing in the world. Cleaning up one shot. Name of the game. Boo Boo grabbing that. Hey, he's, still, he's still alive. No, dude, and not only is he still alive, he is destroying. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's been the toughest thing for me to adjust in this game. I mean, half the game is just survival. Don't <laughs> die. <laughs> <laughs> Try to live as long as possible. But the big don't, thing... Don't challenge one shot. The one thing I've noticed already in, in these pro scrims, because, you know, we play a, a lot. We don't really yeah. watch all that much as he's going to beat that guy down with the extraction, is the fact that they don't jump all that much. We jump ourselves out of fights all day long. I'm a, I'm a rabbit. <laughs> I can tell you a number of times I jumped off Haven because I was hopping around. <laughs> uh, but that's just how it is, you know? Like, yeah. bumper jumper is the old man setting. Yeah. And it's also the competitive yeah. setting. Like, yeah, I, can't, I can't do the claw. <laughs> I get cramps. I used to be able to, man, but I just, I've, I've lost it. Yeah. I have just I, I lost it. I feel you. Uh, jumping on board with Rage. Now, this is a very interesting strategy here. So right now, they are holding red base. Boo Boo is, Boo -boo -doo -boo is going on a flank to top blue. And, but, you know, he's hiding bottom open. And that's something that no, not a lot of people are going to expect. Because by holding bottom open, you can spawn your teammates there if they all die. And nothing is more frustrating than when you're trying to get out of a situation and someone's just chilling, like bottom open or bottom base. You yeah. never expect it. Ever. Ever. So down goes Boo Boo. That's going to be two members dead. That's Tragic and Boo Boo down. We are jumping on board with Suspector. He sees it right in front of him. And they're able to get this arm here. And I, I really, I'm not sure what crowd pleasers are doing. Shooter's got this sniper rifle. He just picked up a headshot. He's going to have a good angle. They going to have a good angle on B. But uh, they, they don't seem to be in the good positioning. You know, Boo Boo Doo Boo and friends are just... Well, he's got to watch out for a flank here. I know it's tough sniping out there unless you got a little bit of help. number of times I've been flanked there is unbelievable. But again, I have the awareness of a child. <laughs> without eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Your awareness is that of a newborn without eyes. 
Uh, so there we go. That's going to be two members down, and there's no one in the position to actually get this arm. It is going to be a one-on-one -on -one here. Boo Boo Doo is going to be taken down, and now we see as uh, the shooter is pushing down. He does have a guy bottom middle. They are coming from bottom open. He's able to connect with a body nice shot. That's good. Nice and now here comes the arm. This is exactly what they needed yep. to do. Getting the arm here. Shooter now is just going to be waiting, and, and even. You you always go for these arms. Where where do you like to go after you get it? Do you like the whole top close? Oh. I usually honestly end up hiding like what by the cubby kind of down low mm. by the block because if uh, I feel like if you're on close right, it, like this happens. Yeah. He's getting naded. Just nades and a fly from everywhere. It's too uh it's too easy to kill there. I don't like going on the ramp at all. Yeah, but notice that you see that right there in the in the death screen. You saw Showtime. Oh, oh. Yeah, with the hard shield. light shield. shield. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a second to talk about Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel like it should say as soon as you whip it out. I love it. I love it, I mean, too. I know some people don't like the ordinances, but there is no better feeling than, than popping out that shield on a rail gun or, or anything oh, yeah. like that. Uh, but the big thing is what, talking back to the showtime here, when that hill, and when that extraction site's beat, you get, out, you get on oh, Blue Broken Bridge. You get on Blue Broken Bridge and you, you're not dying. Yeah. You're, you're going to be able to kill everything in yep. front of you. Hey, let's see if one of them gets set up on the... Uh, on the ledges here. Boo Boo spawning bottom open here. We're jumping on board with him. He is uh, very interesting. Whenever I spawn open, bottom open, I try to get out as yeah, fast as possible. Get out. I yeah. hate yeah. everything yeah. about it. Yeah. No, because it's just so hard. Well, if you run the top open, you're going to die 99% of the time. It is oh, a yeah. death trap. Nice shots there. Oh, great shots. He's on a killing spree as well, so Boo Boo's going to drop out of middle, and now here comes the arm. That's going to be uh, three down here for crowd pleasure. They're dropping down. Here comes the nade, and he is not clutch. And the bad thing with that is that now they are now down a man. They are down a man. You can't be antsy when you're trying to get that arm. You have to take your time. Yep. You have to. Yeah, and it is significantly slower, that second arm, compared the convert compared to the original arm. It's ridiculous. You see how fast that original one went. Oh, God. He's on it, and he's hiding in the deck. Boo Boo's going to have it, and oh, oh my god, he was I missing he was shots. <laughs> I thought he was choking. Got it, got it. You know, you know, the key right there to do is whenever someone's shooting you in the just crouch up and down. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's when you know, like, you, you're you like, oh, you're missing shots. Rest in peace, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you get it, and then it's in their head. You know, it's just instantly. Picks it up the sniper. He's going to miss three shots here. Did not even try to zoom, and that's something we're going to see a lot because you have more magnetism out of zoom. Well, yeah, like Mickelman was saying, he hates zooming. He feels it takes away a lot of the auto aim, which is true. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Oh, they're going to get it with two. Se oh, no, I got him. Taking a look at the scoreboard here. Now it is four to two. Oh, they're already on the arm. Oh, and like, look how fast! I yeah, still can't believe how fast that is. That is night and day differently. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it makes for some plays. Shooter now going to be able to clean up uh, Suspector there. You got Rage, bottom blue. He's going to be able to clean him up. Great flank by Rage. Now, it seems like they're going to control blue base here, Maven. Yeah. And, and I got to think, like, you know, when the extraction's on that side, that is a good, that's the good yeah. call. I mean, that's, that's what you have to do. Yeah. Uh, I know it's frustrating, especially if a teammate's out of place and you start spawning red on this. It is, uh, it's tough. It's tough to get back and get a control. You always need one guy closed. It looks like they do have setup on. Well, oh, he's actually going all the way to top middle. Oh, yeah. He's crazy. Lifestyle's going to be able to kill the sniper. There's a guy bottom blue, and they're get, there's a, here's the sense of urgency. They have yeah, to get yeah, this. Yeah. Here comes oh. the protect. He's down. Will they be able to get to it in time? And they are there. Actually, oh, oh, he got sniped in the head. Oh, the double. And that is the staple. The place. Who Man. Showtime. Um, the Lifestyle got his face ripped off, and so did, I, I don't know. I think it was shooting Lifestyle. No, I mean, who was sniping? Yeah. Well... You know, the, the crazy thing about this is, is Paragon, Boo Boo Doo Boo, and, you know, his, his legions of friends are just, you know, they came out, they lost that first game. They lost it. Well, technically the first game. Uh, they the won. Didn't count, the one where it didn't count, they got, you know, their butts handed to them pretty badly. What was the first one? Just Slayer. Yeah, Team Slayer, they lost like 50. What, what they lost the like 50 to like 34. What are the differences? Just the weapon layouts? Uh, weapon layouts, and that's it. Uh, I think there's light rifle, uh, there's an assault rifle, bottom blue, instead of a light rifle, which is yeah. in V3. 